hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create this poster or text effect inside affinity photo so before we get started i just want to let you guys know that my computer has stopped working the one i use for making hit film and davinci resolve content i don't know it had some hardware issues i have already sent it for repair but until then i'll just post affinity related content I cannot use this machine for video editing as it's quite slow. Whenever I open HitFilm or DaVinci Resolve, it just crashes up randomly and uh, just makes my life more difficult. So you guys have to bear with me for a while until my computer just starts working again. But anyways, let's start creating this text effect. So let's go to file and create a new document and let's make it I don't know, just up to you. I'm just going to make it 1000 by 1000. So the next step we're going to do is grab a picture, preferably a portrait image. So let's just find an image and uh, drag it inside Affinity Photo. Just resize it according uh, to your liking. So I'm just going to zoom out a little here and just hold the control key and just resize it like so. And let's bring it in the center so make sure your snappings is turned on to make your life easier so you can just go to view and snapping manager and just click on the enable snapping thing over here so just enable that and you should be good to go and let's just increase this a little bit so that we fill in this document like that and we can just bring it down and now you just have to uh, let's just drag in a ruler from the left side if it's not visible the rulers make sure you hit the control and the r key on your keyboard to toggle it on and off and you can just start dragging it from the left side and just put it right in the middle of your document so you can hit the control and the uh, colon key on your keyboard to uh, toggle on and off the rulers on your document all right so once you have it like that then you can just uh, make sure that the image is right in the middle like that and you can just extend uh, this over here okay that looks fine all right so the next step is to select the text tool over here and then you can just start typing your text so i'm going to click once and you can see the cursor blinking over here and you can just type in anything that you want so let's type something we always see on the internet always dream big and i'm going to select all of the text and uh, change the font to anton and i'm going to increase the size as well to let's make it 144 for now and uh, i'm just going to move it in the center over here like that and uh, you can increase the size of the text like that to make it you know fit in the picture the next step is to uh, make sure that the image clips or masks within this text over here and it's actually quite simple um, but before that we're just going to create a new shape so let's select the rectangle tool over here click on that and then we can just create a rectangle halfway through like that only the half of your document and you can change it to a black color it's up to you what color you want to go with i'm just going to go with the uh, black just select your text you cannot see it because the text is also black so for the moment we can change it to white for now so that we can see it clearly i should be at the top all right so there we have our text now to clip the text inside this image we need to create another copy of our image uh, so on the right hand side you can see the layers uh, we will duplicate our image so right click and uh, click on duplicate and you can just move it right under your text layer and then you can just grab your text layer and then just put it between the image and the text like that and you can see that it just uh, clips your image within this text so that's it that's how you can create this design this text effect inside affinity photo and you can see that we have a little cap over here we can easily fix this by selecting the text layer and just hit the right arrow key on your keyboard and just bring it all together 
and there we have it so that is it guys i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one